Good evening. Tonight we're going to talk about bat detectors and how to use them. So if you want to be able to actually listen in on on our wonderful bat species in the evening time, you do really need to have a bat detector. And the reason for that is because bats echolocate in the ultrasonic range. Now humans hear to about 18, 20 kilohertz, but bats are echolocating up towards 50 kilohertz, which we can't hear. So you're out in the evening time, you can be walking in a lovely dusky um, atmosphere and see something flit by, but you won't hear a thing. You turn on a bat detector, and that's a different story. So we've got four different types of bat detectors here. The first one is the Magenta uh, Bat 4. So this is one of the cheaper models that you can get. It's about 75 euro. And this is, as you can see, it's a small handheld device and it's called a heterodyne or tunable bat detector. And literally what that means is that the bat detector will pick up the ultrasonic calls and convert it to a noise that we can actually hear. So just briefly going through the components of the actual bat detector. Here in front we have the ultrasonic microphone and this is what's going to pick up the bat's echolocation calls as it flies by. And then we have a small little speaker here so the unit converts the ultrasonic noise and you plays back the noise that we can hear at our hearing range on the speaker. Now when I said a tunable bat detector, and if you see here, you see there's a wee dial and it ranges from um, 15 kilohertz up to about 130 kilohertz. And that literally gives you the array of different calls that you can hear from bats. So you tune the detector to a different frequency and you would hear different bat species as a consequence. And each of our bat species has a different type of noise and a range of frequencies that you can hear them at. So for example, if you're going out in a bat walk and you tune your detector to listen to the pipistrels, you hear this lovely pop, 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 pop sort of noise. So it's really, really musical and it is a lovely way to actually enjoy our very important mammal group. So that's your Magenta 4. Now the other bat detectors that we have we have uh, another heterodyne or tunable detector. This is a Pedersen D100. And again, it has your microphones, your speaker, and your dials to actually change the frequencies. So how to do a bat detection is literally, you just hold the device with the speakers going towards the air to actually pick up the bats as they're flying by. Now with bat technology, there's numerous different types of detectors that you can get to the point now that you can actually buy these small little ultrasonic microphones and these can actually attach to a tablet, an iPad, your iPhone or your smartphone depending on the type of microphone that you get. This microphone is for, the, um, for a tablet or a smartphone and it comes with an app and you actually insert the actual microphone into the tablet, turn on the app, and as a bat flies by, it actually gives you a pictogram of the different shapes of calls that the bats produce. And we'll go for a small bat walk later on. I'll demonstrate that if we have some bats flying around tonight. And then we have our fourth model, which is the one the more expensive end. This is a, a, an anabat walkabout, but again, it's the same principle. You have your microphone, there's a speaker, and there's also a screen. Again, something similar to a tablet. It actually shows the bat calls as the bat is flying by. So that's briefly what bat detectors are about. And later on tonight, we're gonna to go for a walk. Thank you.